Hello, uh, this is the recording for Occupational English Test held at Med City International Pala with uh, center number miak 8 on 22nd of November 2022. Candidate name is Steffi Maria with candidate ID 1002531 and the interlocutor is James with ID number 75461. Steffi, uh, this is just to let you know that it is the English language proficiency that we test, not your professional language. So, you know, I expect you to speak uh, spontaneously and naturally. Okay? Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, Steffi, uh, can you introduce yourself? My name is Steffi Maria Trim. I have completed my BS in nursing from St. Joseph College of Nursing, Dharmagiri, and I have total three years of experience from Max Super Specialty Hospital, Delhi, as a cardiac nurse. Fantastic. Uh, do you have a good quality as a nurse? Can you please tell me what it is? Yes, I can say as a nurse, my good quality is best com communication skill, which help me to interact with my patients, not only the patients, which help me to maintain a rapport with colleagues also. Okay, fine. Uh, do you have any risk associated with your profession? Yes, of course. As a nurse, we need to face a lot of risk factors associated with our profession. <laughs> Because we are frontline workers, more prone to get infectious diseases as we are dealing with the patients or infected body materials. And there are some other risk factors also, like we are prone to get varicose vein, back pain, needle stick injury, sleep deprivation, and all. Okay, fine. How do you handle reluctant patients? In case if I need to handle such a situation, definitely I'll hear them. There must be having some sort of problems with them. So I'll try to rectify the issue. If uh, the problem is not resolved by myself, I will escalate the matter to my senior one. Okay, fine. So Steffi, we have uh, concluded our warm-up session successfully. Now the next one is our role play, which as you know is for five minutes. Three minutes you will be given uh, time for preparing your role play. So, are you ready for it? Yes. Okay, fine. Yes, this is your role play card and this is your pencil for your preparation. And your three minute time starts now. So Steffi, are you ready for the role play? Yes sir. Okay, fine. So your time starts now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon nurse. Please be seated. Thank you so much. My name is Steffi Mediatum. I'm one of the RN working in this clinic. How may I help you today? Nurse, actually I've been posted for a, a surgery next week and I have some uh, clarifications with that. So I just thought of coming and clearing it with you. No worries, I'll help you out. Before that, for my confirmation, I need to know your full name. Uh, my name is John Lewis. Okay, you are Mr. John Lewis, 52 years old, and you are scheduled to have a transesophageal echocardiogram on next week. Am I right? You are absolutely right, nurse. Well, Mr. John, have you done this procedure earlier? Uh, to be very frank, nurse, I have heard a few of them saying about this procedure, but personally, I have not undergone, and uh, I am very anxious to actually. Yes, there is no room for worries, Mr. John. I know that as a first time you are going to do such a procedure, you might be quite anxious. I'll explain it in detail, can I? Oh, please, nurse. This is a kind of cardiac procedure which provides detailed images and structure of our heart and also helps to analyze the blood flow. Is it clear? Oh, I see. Okay, fine. Now I got it. Okay, based upon the research, further course of action will be planned by your doctor whether you need a surgery or another medication treatment which will be considered. Is it okay? Okay, fine nurse. Nurse, now uh, is there any personal preparation I need to do before undergoing this examination? Of course, Mr. John, there are certain kind of preparations you need to do before the procedure. I'll explain it now. So before the procedure, it is very necessary to avoid food and fluids any kind of fluids six hours prior to the procedure can you do it oh, i think i can manage that no problem okay apart from that at the hospital there are certain preparations also shall i just go ahead with that oh yes i would like to hear that 
So at the hospital you will be sedated with an anesthetic spray and will provide a mouth guard to prevent tongue bite and tongue fall. Med City OET app learn OET listening, reading, writing, speaking and OET related grammar at your own convenience. Download the app now. Is it clear for you? Oh, okay, fine. That's quite clear. So, Naz, I just wanted your opinion about this. See, me and my friends, we have already planned for an outing next week. So, will this examination restrict me from any of these things? Actually, you can go out with your friends and you can do your normal activities. There will not have any restrictions. But I'm suggesting you to avoid these things soon after the procedure because, you know, since the anesthetic effort, you may experience some kind of side effects including minor discomfort, soreness or drowsiness which we don't want to happen. So that's why I'm suggesting you to stay at the hospital for some more time because I need to check your condition. I need to observe you post procedure time. If your condition is okay, I'll let you discharge. And there is one more caution. You are not allowed to travel or drive for the first 24 hours. So uh, it should be better if someone should accompany you after the procedure. So have you arranged anyone? Oh yes, yes, I've actually informed one of my friends about this and uh, she has told me that she would come and uh, pick me up after the surgery. Okay, that's great. Uh, do you have any other concern? Okay, nurse, I had uh, one more uh, um, thing to clarify with you. Now, after the examination, uh, do I have really need to wait for the results or uh, can you just make some arrangements for that? Actually, Mr. John, there is no requirement to wait here for color to your report as it will take some time, most probably one to two weeks. So once your report are ready, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I will facilitate an appointment with your GP so he will tell your reports. Is that fine? Oh, that will be a really good nurse. Thank you. Okay. Is there anything which I need to clarify more? Uh, no, nurse. I think uh, you have given me a very clear picture about uh, what needs to be done and how this goes. Anyways, thank you so much for your detailed information. Thank you. Okay, John. Thank you. So, we are discussed regarding your upcoming procedure and once again, I'm reminding you, it is very necessary to keep yourself in bio. That means nilpar oral status. I hope you can do that. Oh, yes. Sure. Why not? Okay, so in case if you have any concerns, you can either call me or contact the center. There will be someone to help you. Oh, that's uh, so kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you very much, Nas. Okay, Steffi, so this is the end of your role play session. And uh, yeah, I wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. Med City International Academy. Trusted hands forever.